All right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and uh, we are here at Cory Lake. Figured we would do some fishing at Cory just for a couple minutes here while we are talking about the news we got from the RF4 uh, devs. And this is what it looks like Cory update. So El Woody has posted this uh, earlier today, and you can see from the first picture, this is going to be a graphical reworking of uh, what the uh, stores and stuff look like. As, an, as part of the ongoing effort to improve existing water bodies, about time to take on Cory, we'd like to show you some screenshots, some improved locations, as well as one of the few f new fish that you can catch there, a rainbow trout. So it is uh, worth noting one of the few pieces of information that uh, we get in this post other than the you know brief screenshots. Let me just check real quick, see if we're actually catching fish. Looks like we've got a couple of them. Uh, is, is the fact that it says that on one hand, we're getting more than one new fish, unless it's a grammatical error. And on the other hand, it actually names that the um, rainbow trout uh, is going to be one of the new fish. So, you know, as far as information goes, that's really what we're going to get. Um, let's look at the screenshots here. Not a lot we can tell from these. I mean, the, the new look of the tackle shops and stores and everything looks like it'll be implemented here at quarry um, potentially the water will be improved they've done that uh, the newer water bodies have had just better looking water effects uh, and you know we've seen two examples of this right mosquito lake was a complete rehauling i mean just completely changed mosquito and then winding rivulet we got very minimal changes other than, you know, changing what the stores and stuff look like, changing the width of some of the parts of the river, changing some of like the stuff that's floating in the river. So some pretty minor stuff in overall, if you look at the changes they made on winding rivulet and I mean, first, let me just say one of the things that I would want to change the most about the way we get information from RF4 is, um, frankly, I just think we need more information. Uh, I just, whenever I read these news updates, these posts, it just, for me, it brings more questions than answers. And I don't know why it necessarily needs to be that way. Uh, I think that there's like this overall message that that they sort of rely on, they being the de the dev team, to say, "Hey, it, it it you know we'll release it when it's done," and because that's our go-to, um, you know, we just we just kind of want you to assume that that's always the case. We'll release it when it's done, and and yet I think it it would be just really helpful. Look at the the rod tip how awkward that is and, and and also the line graphics there were also a little a little weird um lake lake trout on ul tackle here that's why that looked big even though it's not uh the reason why i'm using ul here is because of that rainbow trout um i think that that does have the potential at quarry of uh of really making ultralight uh, even better. I mean, it's already fun to ultralight at Cory. I've always enjoyed throwing out an ultralight line or two, but um, I think it's going to be even better now with those rainbow trout if they are active at all. If they have any sort of, you know, regularity at all, then uh, yeah, that could be that could be good fun using our UL at, at Cory, either casting or even doing this and trolling. So we're definitely hitting the lake trout on this. So this is the lure we're using here with the ultralight, this uh, ULF crank 3003. Um, and then on this rod, we're using the Satori 22 gram 009. And then we're using the handmade balsa on the third line when I actually remember to put it in. So yeah, I guess 
I, I'm excited about a Cory update. Uh, Cory's always been one of my favorite water bodies, and I think it's still one of the prettiest water bodies even before the update. So I think it, it has the potential of just being really amazing after this update. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is like, we've had a lot of updates like this over the past couple of years where we basically just don't really know any sort of timetable. Um, we have minimal information about how you know ex extensive the changes are going to be. And I mean, at the end of the day, they can share what they want to share. And I guess that's what they've done. I just wish we had more. I, I think I just wish there was more back and forth, more dialogue, um, you know, more information, more updates. Uh, and and it, it's fine. I think having the approach hey, you know, we're going to release it when it's ready. I mean, that's what most of us would want them to do. But that doesn't mean you can't communicate more. Um, you know, you could have a weekly blog. You could have a weekly, you could have a weekly stream. You could have, um, I mean, heck, even a monthly, some sort of blog or stream or something just to say, hey, here's what's going on. Highlight some community stuff. I mean, basically like, like maybe like a small MMO studio would do would say like we want to you know take this time to highlight some community members that have been making uh, content for our game here's the links to their stuff and you know join them and whatever or um, we have a couple of pictures that we've uh, gotten permission to share with you this month and uh, we also want to let you know that these are a couple of things we're working on these these are some things on our wish list that uh, may be still a little ways off but you know we're really uh, looking forward to trying to address this. We know it's a player need or desire to have this adjusted. I mean, I, you know, just kind of that, that level of back and forth. And I'm not clear. I haven't really done enough digging to know. It is possible that uh, players over on the Russian language uh, community or in the German language community, some of our other communities that are much larger than the English-speaking community, they may feel like they get more regular information. I, I don't know. I don't think so because I think it would still filter down to us on our English speaking side. There's enough folks that, um, that, that speak both. And so, um, yeah, I just, I wish there was more communication. So, so all that being said, I'll, I'll get off my rant about communication. I mean, I am overall excited to hear this. I mean, of course I want to know like, okay, Cory update, that's great. And adding some new fish species to Cory, that's cool. I mean, that's interesting. There's already a lot of fish species at Cory. Um, so does this mean Cory's going to get a little bigger? Or are we just going to pack in the fish spawns even more? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not, it's not necessarily a problem, I guess. But um, is this going to make Cory char and savan trout or whatever even harder to find? Because now we've got other fish species we're adding. Uh, I, I just don't know, you know, again, anytime we get sort of these like small updates, to me at least there ends up being more questions than there are answers. Um, and, and the big question that most of us would have, I guess, would be like, is this update imminent? Like, are we, are we, uh, are you preparing the servers for the update? Like, are we talking in the next week or two? Or is this one of those posts where it's like, hey, we wanted to let you look over the shoulder of the dev team and see what they're working on. Yeah, they just started work on it last week, but, you know, we've made some good progress. And in a few months, you'll have the Cory update, you know. And, and it's just, to me, it's always been really difficult to tell the difference in, uh, in when an update is, is actually coming soon. I mean, I think there's been examples of both. There's been times where we've gotten updates and then the actual content has come fairly, you know, it's been pretty reasonable on how long till the content comes out. But I think the other example has happened even more where the community's like, you know, it's not out yet. Like, you know, you posted that three months ago and, and it's still not out. So I guess it still has a lot of work left. So. Maybe we should maybe we should just assume that so that we don't get our hopes up that that new content's coming out. But new content and fresh content is so important for the life of a game like this. Uh, you've always got the sort of cycle of 
new players coming in who are excited and for them, they feel like there's an endless amount of content, right? But then you also have your players who have been around for a long time and uh, to keep those players engaged, you, uh, you really do need a constant flow of, of new content, creative ways of, of keeping the game fresh. And um, I think the game would benefit from exploring that a little more aggressively. And I, I, again, I am speaking with very little knowledge on the state of the game's finances, on like the player base side. I just don't have any idea. So there may be like practical just reasons why what I'm saying is sort of idealistic and maybe not realistic, but, um, you know, I just think the game would really benefit from more frequent updates. There's a nice Savan over on the UL side. That is so cool. Uh, just, yeah, just, just more communication. More communication, more updates, uh, more interactions with the community. I think all those would be really positive things for, R for uh, RF4 at this point. By the way, let, let's just talk about Corey in general for a minute here before we wrap it up. I uh, I have just always felt like Corey came at just the right time. At least the way I've approached the game, even on my main account and certainly on leveling. Um, and certainly on the leveling guides that I've done. I, f I focus a lot on, f on bottom fishing, feeder fishing early on. So once you unlock Cory, it's just so much fun to, you can still do bottom fishing here, obviously, going for char and burbot, even bream sometimes. Um, so there's still bottom fishing you can do here, but you also get the opportunity to do what almost feels like bottom fishing with spinning setups and lures, which is trolling, which is what I'm doing now. And, uh, and a lot of times you can also just kind of hang out and stand over on that rock over there or on the island or just in the boat. And there's spots where you can cast. It's, it's like all of a sudden, for me at least, spin fishing became a lot more fun at Cory. Um, the type of fish you're catching and the different ways you can catch them. Now, at this point in the game, you've got places like Belaya, Winding Rivulet has been reworked a little bit. So... It's a different experience, I guess, these days um, for someone who's into spin fishing, which is cool. But uh, Corey will always be just like a, one of my favorite spots for, uh, for all those reasons. So we've been hitting UL, UL weeklies, which all that tells me is that not many people are fishing Corey this week. And um, on, the, on, the, on the US server, at least because we haven't caught any like really big fish, but we've hit two weeklies. Um, so there hasn't been a lot of competition out here, I suppose. But who knew there was gonna be this quarry update sort of out of nowhere. All right, let's sell the couple fish we do have. Those Savant Trout's always been one of my favorites uh, to land. The quarry char are really cool too, but I tend to especially like those Savants. And we didn't see any quarry char in our brief time. So anyway, let me know what you're thinking about the quarry update. Does, does it have you excited? I mean, I, I'm really curious, like, are there going to be significant changes to the water body itself? Which I'm skeptical that that's what they're saying. I think it's probably going to be more of adding a couple of fish species and just changing. I mean, if we stop here and look at the shore and then flip back to this screen here, uh, I wish it was daylight. It would be a better comparison. But it, it's not like a massive change, right? I mean, this building looks like it's a different color, a little different style, looks maybe a little better. Um, this is the cafe. It looks like the cafe has moved. The middle of Cory is going to be like a... Looks like that's a boat on the ground, maybe, like a kayak or something. And I'm assuming that's the cafe still. You can see the board out in the middle. 
tackle shop looks very much the way it does now. It just looks like it's been rotated around a little bit. Stores in the back look similar. Is, do we really have a screenshot? I mean, I guess the question is, what's this? This store isn't in these pictures, right? And and what is that? That's like a bench to sit on. We see the tackle store, the admin, the grocery store. I might have those backwards. Is that admin? That's grocery store. Let's go look. So am I just forgetting something? What would that additional store be? So the way it's set up right now, the red roofed building, this is the admin, and then this is the uh, grocery store, which it looks like that's gonna be the same, right? This is still the admin, slightly different look to the roof, but it just looks the same to me. And then this is the grocery store up here, right? You can see the Coke machine on the porch still. Can we get a little closer? Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, so that's the same. And then this green building up here is probably just a new version of the workshop. I, I mean, I'm not 100% on that because that's a pretty big change. Uh, and then you still have the dairy store down here. It looks the same. And then we just can't see to the left of the dairy store should be, you know, the hardware store and the fish market. Uh, that appears to be consistent with what we're seeing in that picture. Let's sell our fish real quick. So 30 silver. Um, but yeah, I mean, really the question is, The question is, what is this? It's got one of those side doors. It's got a bench in front. Is it just decorative or is that a place? I mean, what would it even be? I saw on the Steam, when they posted this news on the Steam, I think it was on Steam. It was one of the places they posted it where, where people can put comments. Somebody was like, oh, new fly shop, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure, I mean, that would be amazing, but we're, we're uh, <laughs> I, I, I'll be surprised if that's what it is. Um, but there's just not, I, I just can't think of anything else that, Again, not all buildings. Sometimes they just add stuff for the appearance, right? I could be looking at this wrong, but I'm just assuming that sort of the path goes out this way. In, in other words, this building is going to sit up here somewhere. I, I mean, is there any clues on that? Well, that kind of looks like it goes down. It's not up on a hill at all. Is it just here maybe? I'm not sure. I, you know, I'm totally speculating. I, this is this is just like the one interesting picture in terms of... What does that mean? Rainbow Trout will be fun at Cory, though. Goodness gracious. Uh, it's going to make Cory even that much more fun, I think. And what are the other new fish? I mean, again, if it's more predators, like that we're spin fishing and trolling for... Uh... That's great. Um, yeah, it'll be really interesting. Okay. All that being said, thanks for joining me. And um, we didn't even catch enough fish to pay for our travel cost here to Cory, but that's okay. It's worth it for you guys. Yeah, this is the workshop. I don't know. Let me know what you're thinking. Are you excited about the new Cory Lake? Uh, I know if you're like me, the, the burning question that you have other than Cory Lake is like, okay, well, what's next in terms of new water bodies? And also, what's the new style of fishing that supposedly is being added this calendar year? And um, 
we all assumed when uh, Tunguska came out that that was going to be fly fishing. I mean, I think it was a safe assumption. I think that was the plan. There were plenty of, of um, sorry, did I say Tunguska? I meant Yama, my bad. There were plenty of hints in that direction. I think it just, um, I think it just changed. All right, yeah, this is this was the original indication, right? Um, the new year 2021 is coming better than the previous one expand the geography which means new maps add new fishing methods right which theoretically means fly fishing but we'll see and develop other interesting features for the game so that was the promise for 2021 we shall see how we how far we get in those uh, and then I'm trying to remember where the update was. Oh yeah, this was the, it's just, it's almost sad to look back at these to me. <laughs> uh, look at this, February 15th. And, and looking back, this was merely a, hey, just, you know, check out what we're working on. I'm not saying it's coming out anytime soon, but... And then May 21st, we finally had the trailer for Yama, which once you get the trailer, it's coming out in a week or so. But anyway, there really hasn't been a lot of news since Yama. We, now, we've got, now we've got the Cory update. All right, thank you all for watching. Hope I'll, hopefully I'll get to see you soon, either on uh, future YouTube videos or in an upcoming live stream of RF4. Tight lines, everybody. I will see you next time.